Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Thanks so much for clicking on another video. So are you guys ready to see how our struggle week went? If we were able to come in under budget, see what kind of income we brought in for the week. Let's get into it. So we rolled over 69.83 from week three into week four. And the first thing that came out for week four was um, my life insurance. It was $36.40. We had to get a bag of chicken feed and if y'all saw my last video um i think it was the budget with me um you know brian came through with the chicken feed so it was even cheaper than i had said on the video it ended up being 13 dollars 49 and that came out of the pets category brian did get paid and he put 1300 dollars into our joint account this week I got our main groceries from Kroger and I spent $124.92 and that came out of the grocery category. I put gas in my Yukon. It was $60.96. I went ahead and filled up when I had like a quarter of a tank instead of waiting till the light comes on like I usually do. So the amount would be less and I filled it up all the way for $60.96. Um, Brian went to the dollar store. We could have been, you know, even less under budget if he didn't do this, but husbands, you know, I sent him to the dollar store because we had tacos and I forgot to get like shredded cheese for the tacos. And I also wanted a jar of salsa because we usually don't eat all the chips and they just sit there and don't get eaten. So I was like, give me a jar of salsa, get some cheese and he came back with some other snackage and things like that and it ended up being $23.40. So that came out of the grocery category. I made $97.88 on eBay by selling a purse that I had. I made $18 from Gazelle, which is a like electronics reselling website. I tried to sell two iPads and an old Samsung Galaxy phone. But they said that the iPads, they only wanted iPads that could use or that you could use cellular service with. And the ones I had were Wi-Fi only. So they didn't end up buying them. They sent them back to me. But they did take the phone that I had and that was $18 that we were able to get for that. Brian's truck payment came out for $900.02. My student loan payment came out for $98.41. Our solar panels came out for $155.76. I went to Publix and got a little more groceries because we didn't have any tomato and we were making hamburgers and we made the hamburgers from scratch. So Brian wanted some um, like Ritz crackers to make um, into crumbs to like help the burgers stick together. So I also got a little bit of fruit while I was there. So that was $18.08 .08 out of the grocery category. This morning, the dogs ran out of dog food, so I had to get a bag of dog food, and that was $36.54, and that came out of the pets category. And we were also out of milk, and I wanted to make sure I could make coffee. I needed some, I don't usually buy creamer, I just use milk. So I got some milk, got a gallon of milk, it was $3.05. And that is all, so we still have $14.68 left, you guys. Woo, 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 woo. So we did it. <laughs> uh, and it wasn't that bad it wasn't too hard at all like there wasn't anything we needed desperately that we weren't able to get there wasn't you know everything went fine even though the income was less than I thought it was going to be because I didn't sell as much um, to gazelle but it all worked out God did it okay so for income Brian did give $1,300. Uh, we rolled over $69.80. And our other income was $18.97.88. Is that what I said? Oh, I can't remember now. I'm sorry. Let's flip the book back. $97.88, yeah. So that's $115.88. Okay, so 115.88 plus 1300 plus 69.80 is 14.85.68.
So our mortgage, I'm not our mortgage, our solar panels did come out for $155.76. My life insurance came out for $36.40. Um, I think that's it here. So $192.16. That left twelve ninety three fifty two. Okay, for let me open this up. So I can flip on this side. Okay. So for groceries, we spent $124.92 at Kroger, $23.40 at the Dollar General, $18.08 at Publix, and $305 at Walmart. Getting the milk. Whoa, you guys, $169.45. So way under the $208.50 that I planned. Let's see. $39 under what I even planned, which was low. So that's amazing. For cars, only I needed gas. So $60.96 was my fill up. We didn't eat out. We didn't have anything for household. Pets was $13.49 and 36.54 so it was 50.03 kids I didn't do anything I had um, now that my kids get an allowance everything that they buy they give me money for so it just went from me buying them everything that they asked for to me giving them money and them paying me for whatever they're buying so I had um, $14 from them like giving me dollars here and there for the things that they want to buy like if they ask for something and I put it in the grocery order I'll have them give me a dollar or two dollars whatever it is and I just keep the money I've, I'm supposed to deposit it but <laughs> I've been just keeping the money so instead of pulling money out of the bank for them this week I just gave them money from the money I'd been holding on to that they've been giving me so they got their $14 but it didn't come out of our budget we didn't spend anything on clothes blow money unbudgeted or medical so that means we spent 169.45 plus 60.96 plus oops 50.03 we subtract that from our leftover of 1293.52 gives us $1,013.08 Okay, so for my student loan, I spent $98.41, and for Brian's truck, we spent $900.02, so $98.41 and $900.02 is $998.43. We had $1,013.08, which means we have $1,465 left. Bring that 1465 down and I'm just gonna put this as savings here. Um, we're moving that 1465 over into our savings account. So I will cash stuff $14 into our savings challenges when I do my next cash stuffing video. Um, we'll cash stuff this $14. So I'm so excited, I'm very happy. The last week went way better than I thought it was going to go. It was not as hard as I thought it was gonna be. So that just goes to show you that, you know, you guys, we can do it. We can, you know, sacrifice. We can make anything work for seven days. If I can do it, you guys can do it too. I had like four other people in my pocket all week. So <laughs> to be able to, um, come in with some money still being moved to savings after 
you know, thinking that we weren't going to have enough money for the week is amazing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.